Okay, let's talk about using Remove Hidden Stitches with Stitch Artist. Now, Stitch Artist actually doesn't have that function, but if I have Stitch Artist and I have Essentials together, then I can use this function. I'm going to show you how. All right, so in Stitch Artist, I'm going to create a shape as my first design. I'll use the library and just create a square and fill that with fill stitches. Then I can create another shape and bring that in over the top of my first one and fill that with stitches. I'm going to change the color so that it looks different. Okay, so you see in Stitch Artist, I wind up with two areas that stitch. So you see I have two full squares. So the red square is going to fill in this area and then the green square is going to fill this area as well. So I have some, some duplicate stitching. The way that I wanna take care of this if Stitch Artist is my only module is just not make one of them a square. However, if I have essentials, which, which I'm going to show you today, I can actually make them work together to remove the hidden stitches for me. Um, however, there's a different way I need to go about making my design. Um, because Essentials is, its purpose is to edit designs that you put together. It won't remove hidden stitches that are in the same design, but it will if I'm overlapping designs. So you see here, I only have one design. So let's remove that, that second square and instead create it as a new design. So we go to the Create menu. For that, I need to be in Stitch Artist. I go to the Create menu, click Design, and Begin New Design. Now I'm making a second design and Essentials will take note. So I'll do the very same thing I did before, create a new square and fill that with stitches. And I'm going to change the color so that it makes a little more sense. Okay, now I have two designs. And now Essentials is going to kick in and remove the hidden stitches in this area and I will show you that. My way of moving to Essentials is, is to just click the, the selector, the pointer there. Okay, so now I'm in Essentials and you can see I have this icon of scissors and a red line. That's my Remove Hidden Stitches icon. So I click that and it shows me what it has done here is remove part of this red square just like I was talking about we could do ourselves um, just by changing the shape. But by using Essentials, it has removed that for us. And you can even see that in the Stitch Simulator. Let's see how that works before you stitch it out. And sometimes that's really useful if you're stitching something a little more complex than just two squares. Actually running the Stitch Simulator to see how that will stitch out um, will help you. One thing you do want to make sure of is to go to your preferences before you save and go to the files area and make sure that these two boxes are checked if you want to remove hidden stitches on save. Otherwise, the hidden stitches will not be removed when you save your stitch file. And um, I also should note that the hidden stitches will not be removed in your working file. They're always there. So it's just the stitch file that we're going to um, create this effect in. And that is how you use Essentials and Stitch Artist together to automatically remove hidden stitches. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're learning a lot in Let's Learn This Together, a collaborative learning program of Embroidery Central for Stitch Artist.